my home here is so intermingled with the close small town um, that we're close next to a community there. Um, what we do, community supported agriculture, um, we support each other. So we support them with the veggies. You know, so everything is like intermingled and they support us. It's like a village, mm -hmm. you know, you, you look out for each other. It's very diverse when it comes to the, the people who work in it. Um, I, I would say it's a tad economically suppressed. Uh, not, not always a bad thing because I think be, because of that situation in this community, a lot of them are very uh, jack of all trades. You know, um, they, we've got inventors, they got, I mean, are, you, you can just pull about almost anybody out of the, the community and like ourselves because we're frugal, you know, and they can lay concrete or, you know, put up a small structure or, you know, answer things like that. So, you know, sometimes uh, being suppressed economically isn't always a bad thing. I see it as a, a, a avenue to cleverness. <laughs> and so. My personal one, again, is my quiet space, my place is in the field, down a row, by myself, <laughs> you know, uh, listening to the birds, taking it all in, smelling the dirt, that, that's my place. Mm -hmm. I'm a dirt person. <laughs> I'm attached to my dirt. Uh, we uh, grow everything organically. So we live in an, um, an area that has the state soil, the annual state loam soil. Loam soil. So um, that's precious to me. It's everything. It, it is the, the ground for everything we do. Pardon the pun. I, uh, of course, grew up. We have a lot of um, family that is here. Yeah, so... But um, even with our community, um, with the boxes of veggies that go out every week, there's a newsletter that goes out with them. And um, it gives the, the people that off the farm really get to know us their, as their farmer. Personally, you know, we, you know we're not, and people can come to the farm whenever. So they, they know where we live and they know probably more about us than we know about them. And, and that is kind of a, a sad thing too, because I think it's gotta work both ways, even though we have, you know, get togethers and stuff here at the farm. Uh, we uh, went to the MREA, which is a, um, an energy fair, which it shows a lot of different things. And we also had a son in college in Stevens Point that is a very green college. And um, the combination of things and what we did, some things just, it just didn't start, it just didn't feel right it, and it wasn't making sense. And, and we thought, you know what, we're, we're gonna do what we can do. So um, after hearing a very inspiring uh, speaker over there at the fair, uh, energy fair, um, we came home and we planted apple trees, we dug ponds, we purchased a greenhouse, we, I mean, we were go, yeah. yeah. So, um, and then after purchasing the greenhouse, it was like, you know, because we've been growers our whole life, but not to this extent. Uh, we thought there was all, we, there was to need, needed to know to um, grow. Well, growing in a greenhouse is completely different. Yeah. <laughs> so then we were on, you know, the learning curve straight up. And, um, and we're glad we did it. We're glad we did it. They told us we couldn't grow organic inside a greenhouse, and we proved them wrong. You can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we all have responsibility. And if you know of a better way, you should share it. You know, if you can help support, you do that. You know, so... It's, it's, it's the fresh water, it's the lakes, it's the forest, it's, I mean, that is embedded in just about everybody who lives here, you know, um, the hunting, the fishing, the, you know, it is, it is part of our life, that is for sure. Mm -hmm. The earth 
blessing is is a way that we put out there as a great appreciation for what Mother Earth, Creator God, whatever you want to put it as, all this good energy that comes to this farm and all the abundance it gives back. And we want to just show um, publicly um, how grateful we are and also to sh share that with that great respect. Because some of the things we, we go through the woods and we talk about does it's never occurred to some people. So it's just kind of a, a way of opening their thoughts, um, the woods, the trees around us, the soil, how we're all inter interconnected, mm -hmm. and how it all has to be, all their needs have to be taken care of so we can all be winners. Mm -hmm.